Hi guys, it's Parents I Am back in another video, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Hornets signing Kelly Oubre Jr. in this video. But before we get into it, I just wanted to let you guys know, I know I have this is going to be a little bit late, this news, but I've been away in Chicago, and if you want to see some pictures from that trip, I have a whole Instagram highlight story just called Trip to Chicago, and if you would like to see that highlight from my Instagram, I will have a link to my Instagram down below and you can go follow me over there as well if you are not already. And that's why I wasn't able to get this filmed earlier. So that's why I'm filming it today. So I know it's a little bit late, but it's pretty much the big signing the Hornets made and I'm a Hornets fan. So I just want to make a video about that and let's get right into the video. So the Hornets are signing Kelly Oubre Jr. who was on the Warriors last year for two years, $26 million or more depending on I think there's some incentives in there, so depending on if he gets those or not. Overall, so he's going to be making about 13 mil a year on average, Kelly Oubre. So I think for the Hornets, this is a good signing because he'll be really good off the bench for the Hornets. It is a lot of money for someone that's just going to be coming off the bench because I think Gordon Hayward and Miles Bridges or Gordon Hayward and PJ Washington will be the starting forward. So I think Oubre will be off the bench for the Hornets, but I still do think he is a good player to come off the bench. It could be some really good energy for that second unit to lead it since Devontae Graham has gone in a sign and trade with the Pelicans, so he could lead that second unit now since Devontae Graham's not on the Hornets anymore. So let me know your opinions of the signing down below. I think it's a good signing for the Hornets. It might have been a little bit too much money, but it, I think it's worth it because you do have to pay more to get someone to come to Charlotte because Charlotte's not a huge market, so you normally have to pay more to get someone to come there compared to the Lakers where they can just offer people really low contracts and they'll sign because it's a big market. Hornets got to pay way more than what they're worth most of the time. So I don't think they did way more, but it is, I think, a little bit much. But I think it's fine because Kelly Oubre should be really good for the Hornets and should hopefully make up for the losses of Malik Monk, Cody Zeller, and Devontae Graham. Those are the notable losses. There are some others like Kayla Martin, who just got waived, and Cody Martin, who might as well. Overall, I think it's a good signing for the Hornets. Maybe a little bit too much money. I did just want to say sorry for this being late. I just wasn't home, and I was on a trip in Chicago, as you could see from my Instagram. So if you guys were following my trip, I enjoyed my trip. I went to see a White Sox game at Guaranteed Rate Field and a Cubs game at Wrigley Field. So I saw the Cubs versus White Sox and the Royals versus White Sox. I enjoyed both those games. And the seats I had were pretty good at both. So I think they were pretty good. Let me know if you guys have ever been to a game in Chicago, like baseball game, maybe hockey game for the Blackhawks or basketball game for the Bulls. I didn't get to go to United Center, which is where those two play, but I did enjoy going to Chicago. It's the first time I've ever gone out to like the Midwest. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. I'm trying to get some more subscribers and I enjoy making content on here and I'll see you guys in the next video.